that, guys and girls? We're going to the moon! Apparently, according to this old man. That's his dream. And we're going to grant his wish. His last dying wish. I think I go in here. I don't remember what I was doing. Oh, that's right. I was supposed to go look downstairs for information on this old man lying in the bed right here. This one. This one. Just in case you were confused with the lady standing here in the dress. I'm talking about the man. That's not the right way. Or is it? Nope, this is a pointless hallway. That literally has nothing to do with anything. Why would you have that? How do I get back out of here? Wait, come back here for a moment. I have something for you. Yes, I know how to control. Here, take this. It's dangerous to go alone. Receive remote patient monitor. That'll keep you updated on Johnny's status. Thanks. I was just going to ask for it. Sure you were. Sure you were. Johnny's heart monitor is now activated in menu. Control. Thanks for warning me one more time how to control this game. And just in case I forget, you should warn me again in about 10 seconds. Let's go talk to these chillins. Hello, pianists. What you want? Show around the house. Sarah and Tommy, right? Your mother said to ask you two to show me around the house. Okay, maybe we will. Maybe. I think we just need a little convincing, that's all. What do you think, Tommy? Oh, oh I, I should do kids' voices. Yeah! Oh, yeah, that was a kid. It's <laughs> a horrible kid's voice. Oh, what would you like? We want one trillion dollars. Or the candy cane mom hides from us. Who hides a candy cane? Yeah, or that. Huh? Exactly. There's a giant candy cane on top of a high shelf that we can't reach. It's in the kitchen. Mom put it there to save it for, save for us when we do our chores. Get it for us and we'll give you a tour through the house. What do you say? Or <laughs> I'm gonna mess these voices up so bad. <laughs> well Uh yeah, sure I'll get it. Whatever. These kids are they they know what's up. My mother used to keep candies on high shelves too. Alright, I'll go get it. I'm a pushover. The kitchen's the kitchen door is right next to the stairs. Now go. Oh, there it is. It was telling me how to control again. What the, these are the stairs. There's more stairs. Uh, this way. Oh wait, next to the stairs. It's this way. I know it. I've got a feeling. The kitchen's at the other. Go inside anyway. No. What? You said they were right next to the stairs. That's right next to the stairs. I guess technically. This is the. F I'm about to slap some kids. Wait, or is it? Oh! It is next to these stairs. I see. Okay, I, I clicked on it. Go over there. This is a very weird kitchen. There's that candy cane. Let's grab it. Oh, I'm too short. Oh, I guess I can push this. There we go. I know a way around a puzzle. Might as well as, might as well as get that candy cane for them while I'm here. But that was the whole point of being in here, wasn't it? Okay, fine. Get up here. There you go. Do I have to spoon feed you? Don't know how to do nothing. Terrible calories. Can I turn this on? That really didn't do a whole lot. Just made it look like it was. Sunset in this room is all. All right, I got your damn candy cane, kids. Oh, God, this clicking. Okay, I got what you wanted. Good old candy cane. If you come and give me a tour at this instance, I won't sneeze on it. <laughs> yeah, that worked. That got their attention. Okay, where do we start? This house doesn't seem as big as it seems. I know, there's this funny room in the basement. It's a funny room? I don't like that funny room. 
What do you mean by funny room? You'll see. You'll all see. It's weird. Mm. We need to get the keys though. The old man hid it inside a book in, a, in the study. And his study would be this one, I assume. The not kitchen door. This is it. This is the this is the book room. The key to the funny room is in the thickest book on the upper shelf. All right, let's turn on one of these lamps. Yep, that did it. Now I can see everything. So, thickest book. Thickest book up here. Pilgrim's Guide to Origami. The Pilgrim's Guide to Origami has already sub supplanted the great Wikipedia Origamia as the standard repository of all knowledge and wisdom about paper folding. For though it has many omissions and contains much that is apocryphal. What? Apocryphal? I really don't know that word, guys. Or at least wildly inaccurate, it scores over the older, more pedestrian work in two important respects. First, it is made of paper, and secondly, it provides numerous band aids to make up for the inevitable paper cuts resulting from the reading of this book. Read more? No, I think I'm okay. Dusklight, the tale of a girl who fell in love with a zombie who emitted the smell of daisies when shrouded with gentle sunlight. That is f the most odd thing I've ever read. Ah, oh, maybe another year. Received room key. He chose its hiding spot well. No one would read that. I wonder why. It's like Twilight with zombies. We can open the funny room in the basement now. Uh oh. Is the funny room gonna have monsters and shit? This is the basement. We play hide and seek here. Turn on the lights before you trip over something. Okay. The door is locked. Open the door with room key. What do you know? It's like a cave in here. Let's go. Holy, what the hell? This is a weird room. I agree. Is this a platypus? A rabbit folded out of paper. The origami stuff. That stuffed toy platypus. It is a platypus, I knew it. It looks adorable enough to annoy Neil. It might come in handy. Poke it. Poke! Oh, it fell over. Now nah, I'll take it. Okay, this is actually kind of like a nightmare. Uh, a broken music box. Okay. Uh, this is all that I could see in here? This is it? Oh, no, turn that off. I'm afraid. Okay, I guess that's it. Let's leave. That was odd. Did you see it? What do you two know about all those rabbits? Nothing. The old man didn't want anyone to go inside, so we never told him. There are more of them, actually. Where? Inside the abandoned lighthouse. It's just beneath this cliff. Wanna go see? I got the keys. You aren't supposed to go in there either, are you? Hee <laughs> hee. Remind me to never take you to Neil's house. So you wanna go see the lighthouse? Well, it's rather cold, al cold outside, but... Stay here and wait a minute. Johnny's the one who put the rabbits there. I'll probably run into it inside the memories anyway. What the hell? Let's go upstairs and see if Neil's done with configuring the machine. Hold on. I actually kind of forgot which button. X. That's weird. Okay. Dude's still alive. That's good. I wonder why I gotta have that. Like, do I have to actually keep a, an eye on him? Is he going to die? Oh, I mean, I, I, I know he's going to die. You know what I'm saying. The cabinet is filled with dusty books. The cabinet is filled with unused fine china. The rustler? 
I wouldn't say it's unused. But... The chest is locked. Okay, all right, kids, let's, kids, let's go. Do we just leave now? Okay, I guess we just. Why'd the music get intense? Is some shit about to go down? Did you change your mind? Decision, let's go to the lighthouse. You know what, fine, why not? Let's go see what's out there. Is it this way? I think it's this way. Because the beginning cutscene kinda puts it in this direction. There it is! There it is! <laughs> We need to head south to the street and take the other path to get down to it, though. Yeah, I forgot my parachute. <laughs> Cause you have a parachute, kid. Guess I'm going the long way. Oh, this clicking. Can I just walk with the arrows? Oh my god, I can walk with the arrows? Why the hell didn't it say that? Okay. Oh, I'm gonna get lost. I'm gonna get so lost. Oh, wait. Oh, can't go. Nope. 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 Can't go that way. That wouldn't make any damn sense in this 2D world. Nope. Can't go over that log. It's here! What is. Huh? A novelty beach ball. I thought I lost. Oh my god. That's what it was. Ah. It's stupid anyway. Oh, I'll never lose it again. I'm gonna hide it. Don't look. Uh, there's no time to... Yep, oh, you hit it. Okay, done. Okay, let's just hurry to that lighthouse. Let's get the facts. Stop showing me the clicky thing. It's not working right. It's smoking. Who's the dummy that crashed the car? It was Neil. Not me. It's pretty dark out. Aren't you kids scared? Of course not. We roleplay it away. What? Tommy's a super powerful knight and I'm a mighty magician. Yeah, we destroy all evil. Oh, that's uh... that's nice. Do you roleplay too? I uh... no. She's not cool enough to do it. Hey, I could if I wanted to. Just you children, watch. Yeah, that's right. I'm a, I'm a knight. I'm a paladin. Ooh, a squirrel. Let's go. Are we gonna battle the squirrel? Squirrel, wake up! Oh no, it's a terrible squirrel gun. <laughs> I actually am gonna battle it. Oh my god, what the hell is going on here? Don't worry, children, I'll protect you. Somebody hold me back before I use too much power on it. Attack. What kind of jump kick? Armageddon fist. Yelling, rallying. Uh, loudest. Your uh, time is at an end, squirrel gun. Hi, 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 hi. Stop it. Oh, we you animal abuse. Oh my god. Yeah, she'll call the cops on you. What the hell is going on? What? I was just... I wasn't gonna... Didn't you say you like role-playing? Wow, that squirrel's like, Alright, I'm out of here. Y'all is crazy. You should be ashamed of yourself. Let's name it Teddy. Okay. Let's just figure this... Ha let's just forget this happened. Yeah, let's! Because that was awkward. A little awkward. Okay, lighthouse. <sighs> what kind of secret you got for me? Let's do this. Oh, why are you panning so slow? We know you're there. We came to see you. Open. Hold on. What is that over there? In memory of River E. Wiles. River Wiles. Was she John's wife? 
Don't know. Come on, the lighthouse is right there. Alright, let's go in. Let's get attacked by some kind of zombie or something, I guess. Probably. I've got a bad feeling about these kids, man. They're leading me into a trap. I can feel it. Look at this. This is weird. What is with all these paper bunnies? This is it. Oh, what's this one? A multicolored paper rabbit. Hey, this wasn't here when we came last week. Oh yeah, Johnny must have came here before he fell ill again. This is only one with two colors, huh? You know, these things actually look pretty hard to fold. Kind of an odd hobby, though. Oh, that's my phone! It's Watts. Is everything ready? Alright, I'll be right there. Why do you have a creepy ringtone? That's a good point. Why is the ringtone creepy? Because it scares the monsters away. Come on, let's head back. <laughs> Receive Paper Rabbit. It's the best excuse to have a creepy ringtone I've ever heard. Oh! Why don't you be late by another half an hour? Not like we got a dying client or anything. I got caught up in something. I got caught up in something too. It's called our job. Get off your high horse. I'm late just this one time and you milk it. At least tell me we're good to go. Of course we are. Because I'm competent. Your helmet's on the couch. Chop chop. My helmet. We're gonna play some football. Football! Initiate. All right, here we go. Wow, it actually does kind of look like a football. That's really odd. What the hell is on his face? Looks like a clam. Okay, so we all gotta wear them. I guess that makes sense. Did we just go back in time? Of course! It all makes sense now! Steins Gate has chosen me! This should be the last accessible memory. Disable speech for all except Johnny. Done. Let's get him. At any time, you can view your position in time by moving the mouse toward the top of the screen. <laughs> can I move times? Whoop. Nope. Okay. This is. This memory is not too old. So, let's go find him. Yep. 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 Oh, the memories for the. Okay, like the memories are. Look like they're kind of falling apart at some points. Maybe he just doesn't remember everything? Guess that makes the most sense. Johnny. Oh, Johnny. What a pleasant surprise. We don't get many visitors around here. My name is Dr. Eva Rosaline, and this is... Dr. Van Matterhorn. Van Matterhorn. Dr. Lorenzo Van Matterhorn. Aha. Dr. Neil Watts. Nice try, though. Are you familiar with the Sigma Negative... Agency of Life Generation? Oh, are you two from the agency? How convenient! I've just been thinking of calling you. Lily, get us some tea, please. Lily's not moving. Lily? Actually, you've already called us. We're here to fulfill our contract from the relative future. Careful there, if you slip off the cliff, we're gonna have to reload this memory. Watch it, Neil. Show, show some respect. Eh, it's just a program, you know? I know, but this is his last successful memory and we need 
its cooperation. Worst comes to worst, we could just reboot it. Why would you waste time like that? You... You are here to take me f to the moon, aren't you? Yes, John. I suppose I had a good run. Not good enough, it seems. So, can you do it? Can you take me to the moon? We can't, but you might be able to. Why do you want to go there? I don't know. It's fine, you can tell us. It's essential for helping us to get you there. Do you want the fame? The money? You've got to have a motive. I'm sorry, but I really don't know. I just... do. I can already tell that this is going to be a pain in the ass. Nevertheless, Johnny, Here's what we will do. We need to get to your childhood, but it is too distant to do so in one memory hop. Thus, we will need to traverse through your memories with gradual backward leaps, which you have given us the permission to do in the relative future. Once we lay down the waypoints in your childhood memories for direct access, we will return here. That's when you'll need to help us influence the childhood you to become an astronaut. or to get on a giant catapult. The point is, you'll need to have more to, to say than just, I don't know. As long as you can take me to the moon, I will co cooperate in any way possible. Good. Now, in order to leap to a memory, we need an item that is of importance to you. Do you have a memento of some sort to get us started? That'll do. Well, shall we? Ladies first. Okay. Let's grab that. Received note. Moon. We'll need to prepare this memento first. Prepare. Oh. Complete the memento. Click the orbs to flip pieces. Uh. Well, that wasn't too bad. The memento can now be activated for traversal. Activate, activate memento. Activate. Wait. What about my privacy? We'll try not to violate what we can't avoid. But in most cases, it can't be helped. Guess you should have thought about that in the future. Hey, it's the platypus! <laughs> really like this song. It's a cool song. Turn off visibility and interactivity. I'd be messy it'd be messy to be seen. Yeah, yeah. Happy? Jeez, what's with all these rabbits? Sorry about the jump cut, had to do something really quick. It scraped me out. We probably should have checked his record for psychopathy first. What the? Did he hear me? That's impossible. It's probably just a part of his memory. Then I stand by my point. Anyway, quit blabbering and find a memento here to hop, to hop from. 
This will probably do. Anyway, actually, we're going to stop it here. I will save. Boop. In the next video, we'll pick up right from that spot. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Be there! Ah. What am I looking for? A screwdriver. I found the love. Oh, oh, oh! Leave it, leave it to him to get stuck in the mines that are numbered. The numbers do nothing! <laughs> Did you like find yourself in a cave or something? <laughs>